Welcome to HelpViaVideo.com. Today I'm going to show you how to sp speed up the startup of your computer as well as optimize its overall performance by uh, editing your the msconfig command startup application. Um, the first thing actually though you'll need to do is you'll need to download um, hijack this which will provide you with a log of what all your startup applications are so you'll know which ones you can turn off, which ones are okay to turn off, and which ones aren't okay to turn off. Um, so this is the URL here, free.antivirus.com forward, forward slash hijack this. You want to download and install this application. I, uh, I already have it, so I'm going to start up my hijack this app and I'm going to do a system scan and save a log file. And there's my log file. Now uh, what you want to be watching for in your log file is basically these 04 applications here. These are what are in your msconfig startup command in the startup tab of your msconfig. So if you go to start, run, and type msconfig your msconfig system configuration utility opens up and you click on the startup tab it will show you a list of different applications that could or could not be chosen to start up when your PC starts up now if you seem to find that your PC is quite sluggish and slow you probably find that most of these are checked your list of applications um, and most of these do not need to be checked that's something you you know you can you can uh, uncheck something you can do is to uncheck several of these but which ones which ones are safe to which ones do you need started that's something that most people are worried about so this is what the hijack this log is for you, you basically you take the executable from the hijack this log. Um, let's take this here. Okay, so you copy that from your 04 line. And then you go to a different website called systemlookup.com. And you basically paste it in the search bar and do a search. And uh, the one that we found for me was this one, this one, this one. These are all basically the same. It's the same process, same application that's starting up. And their status is you. I'll explain that to you in a moment. But basically, um, what I don't, what I know I don't have to worry about in this case is these two here. They're X's. They're very bad. They're viruses. But those were not what was in my, my list in my log file. So what you what you might be wondering is, you know, what is well, what does the U mean? Okay, well, I've uh, printed this out here for you. The U is a user's choice, depends whether a user deems it necessary. So it's up to you, basically, if, if the symbol is a U. If the symbol is a Y, it norm it means to normally leave it, leave to run at startup. You would want that application to stay checked in the msconfig command. If there's an N, if you search for one of them and you find an N, it means you do not need it. You can uncheck that box. And of course, if you find an X, it's a very bad thing. It means you have a virus of some kind. And if you get a question mark, it simply means that hijack this does not know that application. It's not in its list yet. It's quite simple. So then based on this information you get, I could then choose in my msconfig command to uncheck this one because it's it's uh, based on it's up to me to choose whether I need it or not. Um, without using the system lookup tool, some of them that you know I know for sure you will never need at startup is, for example, Adobe. Uh, QuickTime is another big one. Um, another big one is Java. If you see anything with Java, you don't need that at startup. As you can see, my laptop is an HP laptop and HP when they create an image for you pre-installed on your laptop they install a whole bunch of applications built by HP and they put them at startup 
and they bog down your computer right away. You, you might notice that it's slow. Um, so H, many of the HP applications or Dell or whatever brand of computer you have do not need to be on startup. You can uncheck those. Nero is another one. If you have Nero installed, it likes to start at startup and it really does bog down your machine. Another one I found, it's interestingly, another one I found that really bogs down a computer is uh, MSN Messenger. So if you can uncheck MSN Messenger, you'll probably see a drastic increase. And that is really uh, how to, you know, a simple and easy way to speed up your machine using the MS Config utility found on uh, in Microsoft computers. Now there's a couple versions I think Windows 98 or Windows 2000 which does not have the MS Config command but you should be able to find it on the internet and download the executable and then all you simply need to do is put it in your C WinNT System32 folder and then the next time you click start and run you should see it. Now if you have Windows Vista set up um, I have it in classic mode. If you don't have it in classic mode, you have it in the new mode, you'll need to click start and search for the word run and then it will bring up your run command and then you can type in msconfig. Just a quick uh, how-to there and just in case you're not sure how to do it. Uh, but that's basically uh, the how-to of speeding up your computer quite quickly and easily using the msconfig utility. Thanks very much for watching helpviavideo.com.